Hi, my name is Kelly Eve. And I'm Sarah. And we are about to go on a journey to figure out our own um, heritage. We're doing a thousand kilometer walk from Fort Beaufort in the Eastern Cape to the castle in Cape Town. And we're going to be guided by this really powerful group of indigenous rights advocates. Um, because that's what the walk's all about. It's about indigenous rights and heritage and culture. But obviously for us to take on a journey like this is quite an introspective experience and so we have to kind of figure out what is our identity that we occupy in Cape Town as, as coloured people. So we asked a bunch of people that we think are really cool and that we look up to and we basically asked them what is a coloured person? What's a coloured person? What is a coloured person? <laughs> I'm quite reluctant to use that term mixed because it implies that other races are pure. I am mixed race. Kosa isn't anything pure. There's also been a lot of mixing going on there, the same with, with white people in this country. I think most people, when they look at me, they automatically want to know what am I or who am I or where am I from. Like, I almost feel embarrassed to say that for the longest time, I did not want to be associated with that term, being coloured, you know, because... The term was given to us. What is colored? That's any words of land of Kumi. That's any we or means of us. Okay. But what for why the all the geschiedenis van jou? Want daar is reden hoe ze wel. When I talk about a Cape colored, I'm talking more of an attitude than the color of my skin. So yes, I am a Cape colored. I used to call myself a so-called colored back in the day, but I think it's for me it's become uh, rather important to identify as colored. And also, in a sense, as a Cape Muslim, uh, whatever that may mean. And I come from the era where we talked about so-called coloreds, and we put it in inverted commas because I rail against that that title that was given. It annoys me when prominent coloured figures shy away from the term. And I'm like, I'm okay with being coloured because I mean that's what I've been called all my life. I think we're just like a mixed breedy of everything that's happened. And you know, you you like the you like the the special pot at the end of it all. You know, tastes good, looks nice because you do everything in. And I go to uh, places like Otsuwaran, and those people are coloured over there. And uh, there's a relationship that I have with those people. I can see that there are certain things that we have and things that we say that they also say. I don't believe that it's a homogenous group. So um, I feel like, yeah. The, the term coloured for me feels like an erasure of multiplicity of identities, um, of many identities. And that's a problem, it's a real problem. So buying into this coloured idea also buys into the hierarchy and says like, I'm not black, I'm actually better than that. Although I'm, I, can, I can tell that I'm not white and a white part person probably still sees me as a kaffir. There's a sense of not really knowing what our history is, what our background is. I don't think that the media is doing enough to give us examples of ourselves. Us coloured folk or Kwe or whatever were the people in the Cape province. We should claim ownership of the fact that we were original peoples of the southern southern Africa and and that's who we are. We're original people, you know. Once again, they claim this deep truth of what they say, okay, it's a coloured. Define what is coloured for you.